We now to talk a little bit more about this and provide some insight of Song Jong. He is a chief correspondent for Shanghai Wenwei Daily here in Washington, D.C. Uh, already, as he indicated, China is showing some signs that they're, they're strongly in disagreement of this. Talk to us about possible steps we might see from China. I think China has already said it's a kind of interference uh, in, in, in this uh, uh, internal affairs of China. And also, I think China will do more try to stabilize the situation in Hong Kong. I don't uh, believe uh, this uh, act will be linked to any specific U.S.-China relationship, especially like some people were talking about this U.S.-China trade uh, negotiations. I don't think that that two things have any uh, link, but uh, China will take more steps to stabilize the local situation in Hong Kong. It's interesting because uh, there's there's some indication at the White House that Donald Trump may not sign this legislation. He doesn't he doesn't have to. But that's uh, a veto proof uh, exactly. kind of uh, act. So it, you don't think it matters whether he signs it or not. It, it'll still it doesn't matter. I yeah. think that what matters uh, in the coming future is that what uh, the White House and uh, the State Department will uh, deal with uh, this act when it will be passed. Uh, because in the future, the uh, State Department will be asked to uh, provide annual report on Hong Kong's autonomy status. And uh, if uh, the, uh, the, the, the annual report will say Hong Kong is not, not having any autonomy anymore and uh, Hong Kong's uh, this privilege of uh, economics will, will be deprived. It won't have any impact, you think? Uh, the American Chamber of Commerce in Hong Kong uh, mm -hmm. has come out and said that uh, their warning of possible unintended counterproductive consequences of mm -hmm. this legislation. There are some who are saying this is not the right move to make. Uh, that's not going to have any influence. I think that is conventional wisdom. When I was talking to a lot of uh, business uh, people from America here and a lot of uh, U.S.-China uh, kind of uh, relationship uh, experts, all everybody was talking that uh, this is a wrong step. This is not uh, serving anybody's interest. It is hurting China. It is hurting Hong Kong. It is hurting U.S. business. I, I don't know uh, the, the, the logic, the mentality of those politicians in Capitol Hill. Talk to me about uh, perceptions about Hong Kong and how it's perceived, because we, we see one narrative, uh, it seems like people are glomming onto it in the West. Mm -hmm. I think there's probably uh, some disagreement in Hong Kong about how this is viewed. Yes. The mainland, I think a lot of people on the mainland have a very strong opinion about it. We saw a story, we had a piece on last night, mm -hmm. a, an exclusive Judan mm -hmm. speaking to this woman. Her husband was doused with gasoline, ignited. Mm -hmm. um, and yet here in the West, it seems like these protesters can do no wrong, and then mm -hmm. it's, it's clearly not... It's, it's not as black and white as they think. Yeah, I, I, I will, will totally agree with you. It's not a black and white issue. And I uh, do know, I've been to Hong Kong for a couple of times. I know uh, many, many ordinary Hong Kong people are having their own uh, fr uh, kind of uh, uh, frustrations because uh, the, the, the real estate the price over there is very expensive. And a lot of young people cannot find the satisfactory uh, jobs. So the young generation is having a lot of complaints against uh, the, the, the local government or its poor kind of economic performance but uh, from another angle we see a lot of uh, violence and kind of riots over there some are targeting uh, ordinary civilian people and uh, the, 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 the stores have been vandalized and uh, this are not uh, I think that many Chinese people understand the complex of the situation in Hong Kong I will say that if US has a correct policy it will have to encourage the both sides in Hong Kong to reconsider it. But uh, what uh, U.S. Congress is doing now is opposite to, to, to the fundamental interest of the United States on Hong Kong issue. Let me ask you about uh, this university briefly, if you can, for 20 seconds. Uh, this is yeah. serious. This is a serious kind of hot spot right now. How do you see this getting resolved? I uh, mean the, the surrounding of the yes. policemen uh, yeah. on, on this uh, university. I yeah. think uh, this is a law and order issue, but uh, uh, soon I think the, the local uh, protesters will have to realize they have to give up all the violence. The police have also said, if you give up our violence, we will stop uh, this kind of surrounding and uh, let uh, everybody return back to the peaceful manner. I think that's the only solution. Sung Jong, always a pleasure. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming in.